Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how we can write and execute a Python program. I apologize for the quality of this video. Uh, it's due to my current workstation workflow, but I promise that this is going to be the only video of this poor quality, and uh, I'll try to keep this video as short as possible. Now you don't need to understand any of this. You can kick back and just relax and enjoy the demonstration. The first thing I'm going to, I'm going to do is open a plain text editor. Plain text editor is exactly what it sounds like. It's just plain text. It understands plain text, not bolding, underlining, uh, justification, anything like that. So I'm going to type my instructions. This is going to hold my, my program. I'm going to type the instructions right here. And I'm going to tell it to print hello world. Okay, like that. And again, you don't need to understand that command or anything why this quotes are there or anything like that. But that's my program, that's it. And I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna to choose to save it on my desktop. And uh, one thing that is important here is that all Python files have the extension .py. So when I, when I save this on my desktop, I'm going to select all files here and I'm gonna give it a file name like hello. And then I'm gonna make sure that I give it the extension .py. Now you don't have to save it on your desktop. You might have a directory or a folder that contains or that will contain all of the Python files you write in our course. And so then you would want to choose that directory. But I'm just going to go on my desktop and I'm calling it hello.py. You will want to save it as .py. All right, so there it is. And, uh, and you'll see on my desktop, this is a Python file. That's the Python logo right there. And the file is called hello. And again, in this, uh, this window, this window contains my program. So I'm just going to X out of that now that it's saved. And then I'm going to bring up the Windows command line. There's the Windows command line. Macs have terminal. And the first thing I need to do after I open up the command line is tell it where, where my file is. And it's on the desktop, so I have to change the current working directory with the command cd dot, uh, not, not dot, space desktop like that. So that changes the directory to the desktop directory. That's where my file is. All right now this was not a programmatic command. This was just me telling Windows, hey, look, change the directory and look in this directory for my file. Now, now that I'm in the current directory, I'm going to tell Windows to invoke the Python interpreter by typing Python space, and then I'm going to give it the name of the file, hello.py. All right. And so before I hit enter, I just want to say that what this command is doing is it's going to use Python to read the file that I just wrote. Right? So it's going to look at the commands that I just wrote, and it's going to use Python to interpret those commands. And so I hit enter, and you see it did exactly that. It printed hello world. And then that was the end of the, my simple program. Right. The reason I want to give you this demonstration is to, uh, well, there are two reasons. The first is to demonstrate the low level of abstraction that we will be dealing with in our course. My program, which was contained in this file, was low level. It was, it was just plain text. It wasn't bold. It wasn't underlined. Um, it wasn't clicking and dragging like some mouse. It wasn't um, an image. It was, it was just plain text. And the, uh, we're telling the computer, hey, you know, you got to execute these instructions that I'm going to type to you. That's what we're going to be doing in, the, in our course. The next, the, or the other reason why I wanted to show you this demonstration is to uh, illustrate to you the two components necessary to write and execute a Python program. That was the editor, right? The editor contains the set of instructions. Here we use Notepad. Then we needed a Python interpreter, and we invoked the Python interpreter from the command line. Most machines come with a Python interpreter. Python 3 is what you want to be using. Uh, but some don't, and you can install them if you'd like. Um, but uh, in the, it, it would be convenient if the editor and the interpreter were integrated with one in, into one another. And so, in the in the next couple of videos, we're going to see um, more useful tools that we can use to write programs more efficiently, where where everything is integrated. We're not going to be writing programs like I just showed you in this demonstration we're going to be using a little bit more sophisticated tools. So I will see you in that video. Thank you.